It's Welcome to the 2015 Emma Lazarus Statue of Liberty Award dinner hosted by the American Jewish Historical Society. I'd like to invite Rabbi Arthur Schneier to come and offer a benediction for this very special evening. Rabbi? Uh, may I have your attention, please? Uh, kindly be seated. Uh, usually for an invocation and prayer, the friends stand, but I'm firm, a firm believer that God also listens to us when we are seated. So please remain seated. We gather at a time when freedom is being challenged and tested. We recall the timely message of President George Washington to the Hebrew congregation in Newport, Rhode Island when that state formally adopted the United States Constitution in 1790. And the president in his message stated, the new government of the United States gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance. Over the years with struggle in the face of discrimination, we have evolved into a land ruled by law guaranteeing the freedoms we cherish. On this Veterans Day, we remember the men and women who are willing to make a supreme sacrifice in order that we may enjoy the freedom we enjoy. American Jewish Historical Society is a depository of the contribution of the American Jews who enriched our, our country. Foremost among them, are the ancestors of Ambassador John Loeb, who used their acumen, talents, and generosity to help secure the American dream. My friend John, your parents, whom I had the privilege of knowing, admiring them, John and Francis, are smiling in heaven that you have continued their legacy. Your generosity established the Lowe Visitor Center at Turo Synagogue and the establishment of George Washington Institute for Religious Freedom to help disseminate the rich heritage of the American Jewry for today and future generations. Also to disseminate their contribution uh, to uh, younger generations, future generations, John, you believe in paying back the blessings you have enjoyed, serving our nation as an ambassador and making a difference in the art and cultural life of the city of New York. O oh God, grant uh, Ambassador John a long lope, fruitful years of health and strength, joy, happiness with Sharon and your children. And finally, friends, in an age of terrorism, revisionism of history, 
Holocaust denial, renewed anti-Semitism and xenophobia, delegitimization of Israel, let us use the historical truth to fight those who have introduced the modern warfare of stabbing, decapitation, and the burning of houses of worship. And now join in with me in the prayer that we should honor every day. God bless America. Say it. God bless America. And we pray to God that we may continue to enjoy the American dream. May God spread the canopy of peace over all of us, of our beloved country and the world. And let us all say, Amen. Now, is there any bread here? Or? Anyhow, as you uh, start the uh, wonderful meal, which usually started with a mozi, blessing over the food, let us also think of those who do not enjoy the blessing of food, clean water, and let us pray to God that he keeps us in health to be able to enjoy the food we consume. Don't take that blessing for granted. God bless you all. Thank you. Hello everyone. This won't take very long, but we wanted to start the evening with something a little special. So, first of all, welcome. John and I are so happy that so many friends and family could be here this evening. And I have a very special young lady standing next to me. This is Zoe Chiara Harbart, and she's my 11-year-old niece and the youngest member of our family. She, <laughs> when John was first told that he was going to receive this award, I went to visit my sister, and my niece was there, and I told her about what was going to happen to, with Uncle John, and she wanted to know who Emma Lazarus was, so I read her the poem, and I told her about how important it was and how it was engraved on a plaque on the base of the Statue of Liberty. After reading the poem, it was decided that we would ask her if she would be willing to read it this evening. And she so loved the story and the poem that she eagerly said yes. So with no further ado, Zoe Harbart reading Emma Lazarus's The New Colossus. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here, at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome, her mild eyes command. The air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she, with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, the tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Meal, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>